I'm Dr. Ashley Hughes. I'm a veterinarian at the Friendship Hospital for Animals in Washington, D.C., and I'm going to talk to you about some common health problems that can arise with your dogs and cats. Dogs and cats are affected by the same allergens that plague humans, which can be frustrating to diagnose and treat. The difference between people and animals is how allergies are manifested in our pets. While we can see red, watery eyes, sneezing, and coughing, more commonly skin issues are the problem. Allergies in pets usually present as itchy skin, ears, or feet that can quickly lead to an infection. When the skin's natural environment is disrupted by constant scratching, this allows bacteria and or yeast to proliferate, causing a superficial infection. The infection itself can cause more itching, making the problem worse. If you see red, irritated skin, small bumps, crusts on the skin, or hair loss, this may indicate infection is present and a visit to the hospital is necessary. If your pet is itching without any signs of infection present, you can try giving an antihistamine such as Benadryl, Claritin, or Chlortrimeton. You should check with your veterinarian about how much to give, as dosing is much different in dogs and cats than humans. Also be sure not to buy a product containing pseudoephedrine or any other additive, as these can be very toxic to pets. Omega-3 fatty acids can be extremely beneficial in treating skin issues. As I've said before, I feel all pets should be on this supplement. Not only will the omega-3s condition the skin, but they also provide strong anti-inflammatory effects to help calm itchy, irritated skin. A general dose of fish oil is one capsule per 10 pounds of body weight. For example, a 20-pound dog would need two capsules. Another allergy that is not such a big deal in humans, but can be torture for our pets, is an allergy to fleas. Some dogs and cats are so sensitive that just one flea bite can drive them crazy, and the itching that follows can result in a serious skin infection. Thanks to the effectiveness of medications like Frontline and Advantage, this is relatively easy to prevent.